and today we're talking about my favorite features in macOS Big Sur. So Apple held their One More Thing event on Tuesday, and it was a super cool event. They announced all of these new Macs that will be transitioning to the M1 chip, which is the chip that they announced. And I think it's awesome and really cool. And one of the other things that they announced at that event too is that macOS Big Sur, or version 11, is going to be releasing on November 12th. Well, yesterday was November 12th, and Let's just say that it didn't all go as smoothly as they had wanted it to um, because there were so many server delays and so many just every problem that you could have thought of. But you know, they're Apple, so they know what they're doing and they sorted it out and I have macOS Big Sur, the final version on my computer and I am really excited to just dive in and tell you my five favorite features in macOS version 11. So this is the biggest redesign to macOS since macOS 10, and so that's why it's called macOS version 11. I love all of the new icons, and I love the new interface, and it's just such a UI improvement. It's so amazing, and that's what I'm going to start with. So the dock as we know it has sort of fundamentally changed, and I was on macOS Catalina yesterday, and it seemed like a massive redesign, so amazing last year, without anyone knowing that macOS Big Sur was coming this year. And it is a total redesign, and it is totally and wholly incredibly beautiful. This interface and this dock is absolutely amazing. These new icons have been designed with the Newferism method, and so they're super cool. They're very kind of 3D-esque, but they also look modern and they look fresh and there are shadows underneath and it sort of separates it. And that's actually one of the biggest things about lighting and all of the new Apple icons as well have gotten refreshes. And let me just talk about my Twitter icon. Yes, I downloaded a Twitter icon and planted it in this. There'll be a link in the description below to the one that I used. Twitter doesn't have a redesigned icon and so it looks sort of out of place. And so I downloaded one from the internet and planted it in and I'll have the links in the description below on how to do that and everything. Super cool, and there are some designers that have taken it upon themselves to design their own icons for their macOS Big Sur UI as well, which I think is awesome. And I don't think I'd ever be able to make these icons, but I'm pretty impressed with the people who do. So this entire UI is completely redesigned, and that brings me to my second favorite feature, which is the new control center. So up here, as you can see, you just literally click on this little control center, which looks quite a bit like the one on the iPad and the iPhone. And so it's kind of bringing these two devices closer, as well as how M1 is doing it. And so this is amazing as well, and you just click on it, and you can see your Wi-Fi network, Bluetooth, AirDrop, Do Not Disturb, keyboard brightness, screen mirroring, display brightness. So you scroll that back and forth and it brightens and darkens the screen. Sound up, sound down, and the music that's playing. Up here as well, you see your date and time, Friday, November 13th and 1.27 p.m. You can see Siri and you can see your battery life. My battery is at 20%. It's actually had better battery life. It's very efficient and the operating system is not using as much battery. This has lasted for a lot longer, which is awesome as well. You can see your Bluetooth. You can see your keyboards. And then you can also see all of the other things on your control center as well um, and your control bar, finder, file, edit, view, go, window, help, all that stuff. And then the little Apple logo and all of it is kind of redesigned so that it looks modern and it looks really, really nice and just very fresh and it feels like it's gonna be fresh for a while. Okay, my next favorite feature is the Safari redesign. So I've always been on Chrome because I thought that Chrome looked a lot better than Safari and Safari was just trash, didn't look any good. But now Safari looks so much better and all of the apps on Apple Suite look so much better. And so if you just click into Safari, you're able to see all of this stuff and the other thing is that's amazing is that um, on Safari now there's a whole new UI. You're able to see your history, you're able to see your frequently visited sites, you're able to see your privacy report. In the last seven days Safari has, pre has prevented 95 trackers from profiling you and so what that basically means is that they're preventing 95 trackers from tracking you around the web and figuring out what you like to shoot ads at you and stuff like that. And that's awesome as well. And that's something that I really like too. And you're able to click on that and you're able to see the different things like 
Apple Toolbox, Wired, Fox News, 9 to 5 Mac, Input Magazine, DJI.com, OnlineConvert.com, Reddit, 365 Web Sources, and all of these. And actually, it shows you the number of trackers per site that they've sp stopped. And I downloaded something from Apple Toolbox, and so I'm a little bit concerned that number of trackers has 38 trackers who tried to track me. So that's a little concerning, but, uh, you know, that's all good. And you can see that on the corners over here, they're a lot more rounded, and you're able to see all of these cool different features that you're sort of seeing here that I think are really awesome and I think are super cool. And I'm really, really interested in how this works just because it feels like it's gonna be really interesting to just kind of have it snapping around and really quick and really fresh and really modern. So I really like this as well. Okay, my next favorite feature is the finder redesign. And so you can just go into here and you're able to see that this looks actually quite a bit like the Finder or the Files app on your iPad and on my iPad Pro. And so we're able to see these things and we can see that we have um, all of these new icons and they look really fresh and they look really nice. And so I really enjoy these as well and I think they look awesome. We're able to see our different um, applications and stuff like this. Desktop, it looks all very fresh and it looks all very modern and it looks really just tied together and very simple, which I really like as well. So that's something I also really like as well as Mail. So Mail has a new redesign as well. And I think that's awesome as well. And you're able to see all of your sent messages and everything over here, which I think is awesome too. And you can see all of your different icons on this side as well that show you how you can reply and how you can forward and how you can refresh your inbox and write a new email and archive it and all that stuff. So that's awesome as well. And my last favorite feature is these new wallpapers. So. Let me take you through the wallpapers that are available. So you just search up here and you go to System Preferences. In System Preferences, all you gotta do is you gotta go to Desktop and Screensaver. And there are tons of new wallpapers, actually some from Catalina as well, which, are, which is nice. So we have some new ones of the ocean and some new ones that we've seen on iPhone and iPad as well. Um, and so now I'm just gonna take you through each of the newest wallpapers. Big Sur Dynamic, The Cliffs Dynamic, which is an illustrated wallpaper, The Lake Dynamic, The Desert Dynamic, The Beach Dynamic, Big Sur Graphic Light, and Big Sur Graphic Dark, as well as all of the rest of them that we've seen before. So those are my five favorite features in macOS Big Sur. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button below. It really helps the channel out. Subscribe below if you're not already and comment below if you have any questions for me or if you just wanna make your voice heard. Something we need now more than ever. Bye.